this is your horoscope for March 2019. Thank you for joining me. It's a joy to be with you today. Now, on the 2nd of March, we've got Venus, the planet of love and beauty, going into Aquarius in your 11th house until it goes into Pisces in your 12th house on the 27th of March. So, for most of the month, Venus is going to be concerned with being a humanitarian, loving other people, doing something for the greater good, and it's in your 11th house of friendships. So you're really going to be interested in helping out your friends, and also you'll be interested in making other people's hopes and dreams come true. And remember, remember what you put out, you get back. So if you help other people along those lines, it's very likely that your own hopes and dreams will come true, especially in the area of love and romance. Now, on the 5th of March, Mercury is in Pisces, and it goes retrograde until the 28th of March. So Mercury is in your 12th house, of Pisces and Mercury in Pisces is a little bit um, foggy. It's very focused on the spiritual side of things. It's really intuitive. It's self-sacrificing and it's able to kind of tune into the higher realms, the other side. It's able to lift back the veil. Now you've also got Neptune, the water planet of dreams, the sun, your midheaven and your moon in Pisces in that 12th house. So this Mercury retrograde for you is a good thing because it will allow you, especially if you're someone who's totally disconnected from the spiritual, if you're an agnostic or an atheist, you're going to find a new way of communicating with the higher realms and you'll start to make some sort of a connection, which is always good. If you're connected to the higher power, you really can't go wrong. That's the source of all information, all love, the Akashic records, everything. On the 6th of March, we have a new moon in Pisces, which happens in your 12th house. So I'll make a separate video on this, but the new moon is when the moon is pitch black and it pulls energy in. So it's pulling in even more Pisces energy into your 12th house of spirituality and spiritual strength. So you're really going to feel connected. You will want to nurture other people. You'll be creative and your intuition and your psychic ability is going to be heightened. On the 7th of March, we've got a really big thing happening. Uranus is an outer planet and it's a really slow moving planet and it's one of the big boys. It's, it's chaos and eccentricity and it's really hard to predict what it's going to do because even the way it moves is all over the place. Now Mark, Uranus enters Taurus on the 7th of March, Taurus being the sign of money and stability and beauty and sensuality and it stays there until about 2025 2026 depending on where you are so that's a pretty long time that's like six seven years and the good news is that it happens in your second house so think of uranus as taking a plug and putting it into a socket so that some appliance works it's electricity it's force it's power You've also got Mars sitting in that second house in Taurus. So for you specifically, over the next seven years, Uranus is going to be sitting in that second house of money and you'll experience a lot more activity in your financial life. So a lot more is going to be going on. So if you're an Aries who isn't very well to do at the moment, you can totally turn your um, finances around over the next couple of years and Uranus is going to be on your side and it's going to give you the energy to do exactly that. That's amazing. So that energy is going to keep you occupied, that big shift, until the 20th of March. And on the 20th we have a full moon, which is also a super moon, and that's in Libra. So Again, I'll make a separate video on this, but the full moon is when the moon reaches its completion point. It's fully lit up 
and it kind of lets go of the energy. It's like, ha, oh, I can let go. I'm done. And it showers you with Libra energy, Libra energy being compromising and about being with people. And you've also got your North Node and your Ascendant, the transiting ones, in Cancer in your fourth house. So this is a lovely time for you to connect with loved ones, family, lovers, girlfriends, boyfriends. You're really going to get on very well with people from the 20th onwards and you can experience real lovely intimacy. Also on the 20th, we've got the spring equinox, which means equality between night and day. So it's spring, hooray! And also on spring, spring day, we've got the sun going into Aries. So that's your sign, so happy birthday. You're going to really feel very comfortable in your own skin. You're going to um, be able to move forward with the things that you want. And the things that are really of importance to you are work and making money and being with other people in relationships and enjoying those relationships. So that's going to keep you busy until the 31st of March, the end of the month. And then your ruler, Mars, goes into your third house of communication and it moves into Gemini. So at the end of March, moving into April, you're going to be much more focused on communicating, getting your point across and sharing your message. So this looks like an amazing month for you, especially in terms of Uranus moving into your second house. That has such a long-term positive effect on your finances. So yeah, if you're, if you're stuck financially and you don't know what to do, Uranus is going to shake things up for you and it will allow you to find a way out. If you um, are bored in your existing job, Uranus is going to give you the energy to find something that's more uh, fulfilling and interesting. And also, if you've never had the courage to make yourself self-employed, but you've always wanted to be self-employed, Uranus gives you the power to do that. So I hope you have a lovely March. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the reading tab to order your reading. In the personal readings, I use astrology, tarot, and numerology. The astrology chart gives me a blueprint of who you are, what your life purpose is, what your vocational aptitudes are, what's destined for you in love and romance and money and career and personal development. I can answer any questions you, you may have, and we can also look at what's coming up in the future. So if you're interested in that, please order your reading on the website, gregoryscott.com. I hope you have a lovely lovely march as i said and i'll speak to you next month